Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another video. Hopefully you are enjoying your day and I know I haven't done a video in like a week or so, which in internet time is seriously like 10 whole years. So I'm very sorry about that. But as you can see, we're finally back and we're bringing you a double upload. So another 30 minutes or so, I should be showing you guys another video. So be sure to stay tuned in for that. And as you can see, we're doing a face cam in my videos now uh, with my camera. So if you want me to do more of these where I talk about news, glitches and all that stuff, please let me know if you want more of it because I'd be sure to incorporate more of that in my video. But today, as you can see by the title, we're gonna be looking at something quite interesting and that is gonna be the Infinite Warfare main menu screen. So as you know, wherever you play a game, you press start, you press X, and from the main menu screen, you hop into the game. You can play single player, multiplayer, whatever. But recently on Twitter, I have found a lot of people sharing one particular image of this Infinite Warfare main menu screen. And as you can see on the screen, this is what it looks like. As you can tell, it's the guy from the cover box art, which we've seen on the game if we want to pre-order. It looks like he's just uh, walking down on the side and there looks to be some like city or something like that behind him. As we know, we know it's set in the future and I'm not exactly sure what city that is. We don't actually have any details for that yet. And it basically says Infinite Warfare, press options to begin. And the thing that strikes me out so far is that within new gen games, obviously it won't say press start because this is on PlayStation 4 because there's an options button on the PlayStation 4 instead of the start button, which is a bit interesting. And I'm probably gonna get a lot of you saying, is this real or is this false? So what I can tell of right now, it could possibly be true. However, when I look at stuff to determine in the new Call of Duty if it's real or false, what I do is I look back at the old Call of Duties that the developer has made, and if you look back at it, Inv Infinity uh, Ward is the one actually making this game. They've made previous games like Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, and so on. So boom, this is what it looks like of the main menu screen in Modern Warfare 3. As you can see, it says single player, it says multiplayer, and it says Spec Ops, which is Special Ops, which was a different game mode uh, back in the day. But as you can see, the main menu screen is very different to the one in Infinite Warfare, where it just says press options to begin. Now, mind you, this is the same developer in Infinity Ward. Now, if we head over to uh, Modern Warfare 2, which is the predecessor to Modern Warfare 3, you can see once again that the main menu screen is the same. It's a special ops, campaign, and multiplayer. So it looks like it's got that theme with Infinity Warfare, uh, Infinity Ward games where they have multiplayer, single player, and special ops. However, in this new iteration of a Call of Duty, they're actually going to be putting zombies into this, which is quite interesting. And to be honest, looking at the past games like Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, in terms of their main menu screen, it is totally different to the one now. Now you might be wondering as well, why am I showing you this main menu screen? Well, it's actually quite interesting to see what the game will look like, what type of feel we will get by looking at the main menu screen. And all in all, it's quite interesting to see what we get because obviously there's new leaks, new rumors, and I want to keep you guys up to date. So this is exactly what the main menu screen will look like. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think it's real or false to me. It looks pretty legit. However, basing it off the other main menu screens, it probably is isn't that legit. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash the like button down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Let me know if you want me to continue doing these videos with these cameras uh, on there because it looks quite nice and I'm kind of engaging with you guys more. So let me know about that as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed your day. I will be doing another upload in 30 minutes. So check on that. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Drop it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys later. Globe out.